guys so today i decided to do uh, italian traditional lasagna so i added some oil in the pot and then put my ground beef now i'm putting paprika which is the sweet one some uh, garlic powder some salt some uh, black pepper and then just mix everything like so okay so after everything has simmered down you can go ahead and add your onions some people uh, prefer to put the onions before putting the ground beef but I prefer to do it like this so yeah After that, mix everything together. Okay. The, the onions don't really need to be that done just because it's going to cook for a long time anyway. So I added some uh, Maggi cubes. And then add your tomatoes, tomato paste. And then add some more tomato paste. You can be generous with this because if you want it to be thick and nice. Uh, yeah. So mix that. Then I went in to add some more tomato paste <laughs> and then um, some tomato paste which has some uh, onions and carrots mixed in there so it gives a good flavor. Keep mixing and then after that you can put some wine you can add some wine if you like uh, that's optional but mm -hmm. I like to put wine in mine some people like to put red wine and then I added some beef broth and then lastly I added uh, some parmigiano which is like some cheese Some cheese you can also be generous with the cheese because who doesn't love cheese the more cheese the better <laughs> so yeah mix everything together okay so after that you can take your lid cover your pot and let it cook for two hours you can make it you can let it cook for an hour if you like but i decided to i like to cook mine for two hours because it get gives the best flavor uh yeah on low heat remember also uh keep checking on it for maybe 20 minutes every 20 minutes uh here my daughter is calling and she's uh, from here onwards you're gonna hear her making some noises so bear with me so this is how it looks like after two hours looks so yummy so thick smells delicious tasted divine oh my gosh anyway so yeah add your uh beef um before adding anything to your pan just because you don't want it to stick uh when you put it in the oven i went ahead and fast forward no, no, no. because my Stop it. daughter was making a mess but i'm gonna show you uh what i did exactly so after you add your your beef 
then add your lasagna sheets like so mama okay and then you get your beef add that to the lasagna sheets on top of the lasagna sheets okay mama okay joya okay Mix that and make it lay nicely on top of the lasagna sheets. Okay. Add more beef. <laughs> okay, and then get your bechamela, which is the cream. Add it on top of the beef. Okay. And then get your cheese. Add your cheese. Grana Padano cheese. Okay. So before you put it in the oven, this is how it should look like. Put the cheese, uh, a fair amount of cheese on top so it comes out, you know, crunchy and, uh, you know, crispy on the top. So I cooked mine for 25 minutes on 175. And yeah, after 25 minutes, I went back and this is how it looks like. gorgeous isn't she pretty it was so soft on the inside crunchy on the top that's the reason why you want to put cheese on the top so it is uh, so hot it was so yummy so make sure you try it guys and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao, ciao. ciao.